We should be going. We're going. This is live. It's Ken MacArthur's first Blab. It's going to make a huge impact on the world of Blab. I am. I'm Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Pedology. And joining us is John MacArthur, Tracy Malone, and Ken MacArthur. And we're going to be talking about the impact event coming up in a couple months and how you can make an impact in your life to the people around you. So welcome, everybody. Glad to have you on board with us. This will be repurposed into a podcast later on and show up all over YouTube as well, I am sure. Which is one of the beauties, by the way, of Blab, because when we're done, Blab sends us a MP3 file and it sends us an MP4 file and we're able to uh, pop it up wherever we want to pop it up, which is kind of a cool thing about this whole process because it's very, very simple as long as it works. Fantastic, and thanks so much for being here. Um, and speaking of Scott Patton, Scott Patton is an amazing friend from many, 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 many years. Um, he's spoken at uh, the Impact event, and before that, he spoke at the JV Alert Live events. And I'm really excited to announce that he's going to be emceeing the Impact event in April, uh, starting April 29th through May 1st. And we're going to be doing this series of podcasts and blabs. Uh, working together on a regular basis. So I'm excited about having some consistency and having Scott on board. Now, I want to give a special welcome to uh, Tracy Malone, um, who is the resident lab expert here. <laughs> and uh, tell us a little bit about you, uh, Tracy. Um, well, I am here in Colorado, and I have been marketing for a long time. And I am very grateful for Ken MacArthur, who has introduced me to people that have helped me grow my business. Oops. There this is one of the things her. that can happen on <laughs> Lab is lose a connection and you lose your seat. So we're going to move over to John because he has the distinction of knowing Ken pretty much longer <laughs> than anybody other than Ken's parents and uncles and aunts. You yeah. kind of got drafted into this, didn't you, John? Well, I, I, yeah, I saw the invite, and I have to <laughs> said I had to see what it is. So, uh, well, I've, been uh, few, I've been to a few of Ken's events. Uh, I'd like to be to a lot more. Um, well, yeah, John is a, a very, very special person in my life, and I'm really, really happy that he dropped by just to see what things are doing. Looks like we've got uh, about 30 people on here already. I see uh, some some great folks on there. And if you uh, get a chance, send this out and let your uh, Twitter followers know uh, that we're doing this little experiment today to test things out and see how Flap goes. Yeah. We've already lost uh, Tracy uh, for a minute, but hopefully she'll be back. That's right. And probably the format that we're going to do moving forward, this is kind of our first one. We're just sort of uh, seeing what it's like and making sure we can get it to work. But Ken and I will probably pick a topic and then we're going to probably discuss it for about 15 or 20 minutes and then what happens and what the beauty of Blab is on the, the right-hand side, we've got everybody that's uh, online with us and you can ask questions. And then uh, when we open up, the, we're going to open up the phone lines and you can actually take a seat and there might be two seats uh, and, uh, and we can actually discuss the specific issues that will help you make an impact on your business. So I think that's a really nice format because it gives Ken and I a chance to kind of share what we want to share and then because the thing about blab ken is very easy to lose control i did a blab <laughs> one of the first ones i did was with a british guy named mark and he and i got on and we had this idea we were going to talk about whatever and then a gal we knew says oh i want to join you so she joined and then as soon as she joined she looked on the side and she saw a friend of hers so she said oh susie join us so susie joined and Mark and I did not say a word, I swear, for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> These two did not take a breath. And we were just sort of sitting there going, oh, my God. You know? And so it's easy, easy, easy to lose control. Uh, and, and that's why we want to have that little bit of time at the beginning to kind of share what we want to share. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the nice things about Blab is the fact that it's going out to all of our Twitter followers. And if you folks... Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this worked because I'm brand new to it, uh, but I know that uh, there's little clapping hands and stuff every time you like us. You see the little funny things. There's uh, Deborah Jason uh, and Ken Lovett uh, giving me lots of kudos there. And uh, so 
that helps spread the word around and, and uh, grabs us more and more uh, people on the call. So. And you're supposed to call in here, not call Ken at his home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, so I, I, I try to uh, take that phone off, but somehow it magically comes back. <laughs> the, the wonders of technology. So yeah, tell absolutely. us some of the things that you've been doing, Ken. I understand you've got 14 Academy Award nominations <laughs> scheduled for 2019. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know. um, we're having a blast, and I've got so much coming up. I, you know, it's hard for me even to, to visualize, you know, what is coming up. Uh, we've got the big event uh, coming up in April. It's April 29th through May 1st, and it's in Denver, Colorado, which is an amazing chance to get together and uh, do some uh, wonderful things. Uh, Joel Comp's going to be there. He's uh, he's keynoting, um, and a, a whole slew of of speakers that are just really world class. I know that those of you who were lucky enough to be at the last Impact in uh, Denver uh, had a great great time, and we're excited uh, to be able to do it again in Denver. Plus, I get to see a little bit of family while I'm there, so that's always exciting. Uh, but the Impact event is not the only thing that's going on. We're doing three films. Uh, we've got a um, a short film that is in um, that's in post production right now. We've got um, a documentary that's coming up that's in production already. We've got uh, a feature film which we're casting for the trailer right this very instant and uh tracy Moses. <laughs> so that's wonderful and um and so there's just so much going on it in addition we're doing workshops and we're doing masterminds uh my impact platinum mastermind will actually be uh working uh, together right after this call that's a group of amazing people uh we have no more than 12 at a time that uh uh, do just incredible stuff together. And I see a couple of the members of that. Uh, I see Troy kicking in here a, a little bit. And I'm excited about that. Uh, so just a ton of stuff uh, going on. We're starting local chapters of the Impact Marketing Association. We've got Ken Lovett uh, that's on right now, uh, who's coming out with a new Impact magazine. Uh, online magazine for people that want to have an impact in the world. We've got an impact live cast channel that's coming up. So that's just a few of the things. I, I didn't even mention things like the impact app that's coming up and all the work that we're doing together, uh, Scott. Uh, it's just going to be incredible. Yeah, it's a pretty exciting time. And we're going to even be more excited when Tracy can get her audio working and we can hear her. <laughs> It's like she's got laryngitis, uh, right? <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> she's working really hard at it, so we appreciate all her effort. Get a big um, marker and a poster board. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. It's very strange, so, Ken, because I did about eight blabs with not a problem. And then I last three have all been like one person could just could not log on. It didn't say blab. It just said 40832 error or something. And you just couldn't get on. And then the other person kept getting kicked off, which was really weird. And what's cool, if for those of you that don't know, is if you go like, I forget what it is, like pound help or something or pound 911 or something, it actually tells the blab support people that there's a problem. So yeah, that. and then they come on. They the, came on to the blab, and they actually tried to help us, which was uh, the help that they gave us was wow, we'd never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, at least they at least they're there for you, right? That's right. That's uh, right. Well, I, I mean, how how often have you ever heard of doing something online where you had? Oh, it's at help. Thank you, Bill. Bill's our resident blab expert until we can get Tracy talking. Uh, he says, add help. And uh, I mean, like to me, that's just amazing because everywhere else I need help, it's like, you know, a three day wait. And these guys are like right on there. This is Tracy on the move. Tracy on the move, <laughs> yes. 
So obviously she can hear us. So yep. Ken, tell us how you met Tracy. Uh, gee, um, that's a good question. I met her in Denver at, at one of our events, and I can't remember what the first one is um, that we that we met at, but uh, but she's been to several of our events since then, and uh, she was just in Philadelphia at the Impact event in Philadelphia. So uh, doing amazing stuff with um, <clears throat> with Blabbusters.com, so you can check out. Um, you can check, yeah, you can check out her blab button and you can, you can check out, uh, blab, uh, blabbusters.com and you can see some of the stuff that she's doing. Uh, so she's got exciting stuff. I wish she could tell us all about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't mute you, Tracy. Honestly, we didn't. <laughs> But well, we got it. We got her working on it. So hopefully we'll have have that figured out fairly soon. So Ken, Absolutely. tell us some of the uh, some of the issues that you your mastermind or your groups or that your people are bringing up to you at the at the impact events that you're doing. Like, what are some of the things that kind of come up that you sort of notice maybe over and over that people are dealing with, and and what are some ideas to help them with it? Um, really, you know. It's kind of interesting. Uh, life, uh, life is an amazing adventure. Yes, um, it is. I have this theory that we all make a difference whether we want to or not, and so uh, we're already impacting thousands of people in our day-to-day -day lives just by existing. So we start out at the point of impact, and then the question is, how many people can we possibly impact in a positive way? Because I really believe that impact is making a difference. Your impact in the world is making a difference. You're impacting thousands of people just by being there. But if you were actually able to use leverage, if you're actually able to use all the art, science, and technology that we have available to us now to increase your impact, then we can do so much more than you can possibly imagine. I think people don't realize how much impact they have because they don't measure that impact. And if they actually did measure that impact, then they would realize, and maybe they'd live their life a little bit uh, differently. It's the small things that make a huge difference. Uh, cool. Welcome, Tracy. Nice to have you back with us. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I can. We can hear you now. <laughs> what? I'm on my, my phone right now. I have been on two computers, and I don't know what was happening. I had Bluetooth headphones on. It was all screwed up. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you back. Tell us a little bit about your adventure with Blab. So uh, I'm the newbie here, and uh, you and Scott have had uh, quite a bit of experience with Blab. It's a brand new platform, but tell us about the adventure that you're having with it, Tracy. Well, when I found Blab about three or four months ago, I decided that there are so many ways that people can use it, like interview style as we're doing now. Um, but I think that another thing is that businesses can be using Blab to answer customer service questions. So if you have a business and, um, you know, people most commonly ask, I use this one all the time, um, you know, what's the best time to go to Disney? If Disney were to do a Blab and explain to the world and invite their audience in, just as you have invited your audience in today, if they could explain that, it then becomes saved as a podcast, it then becomes saved as a YouTube video, and they would probably rank better than they do right now for their own question. So I, I see the potential in businesses doing that, but I also see, you know, as the lab is in a beta stage right now, and every day things change, the hardest thing is finding people and finding that they're online or that they've got something scheduled. I turned off the notifications personally because now that I'm following so many people, I was getting alerts on my phone every five seconds. And so that was kind of annoying. I would love some sort of calendar-esque thing. But the other part of what I've done is I decided that it's a lot easier to have a custom URL that you can drive people to that will host your lab for you. So I believe we have KenMacArthurBlab.com, which I don't think we've finished yet. But when Alex, you've got a blab, we'll be able to put up some content on there for you. So but can I jump 
jump in for a second, Tracy, because mm -hmm. uh, when I first heard about Blab, the thing that occurred to me was, well, if you're not very technical, you could get the, there's an embed code, you could embed it on your site. Uh, but that's like each individual Blab. And I thought, you know, how do you kind of like automate this or make it easy? So I created a WordPress plugin that basically does two things. One is if you put into it as a short code at Ken MacArthur, then it'll take all the blabs that Ken MacArthur has done and post two or four or six or whatever number you want per page, paginate it and go on to the next one. So if you've got hundreds, you don't have one page with a hundred little boxes in the blab, click on it, it opens up and you can watch the blab again. The other side of it is that, you know, just to use Ken as the example, is you might want to, you might have three different topics. I think, I'm not sure what the minimum is for um, for Blab, but you might do one that's kind of more on marketing and one that's more on um, some other topic or some other topic. Blab gives you a list of, tab, of, of uh, tags, but I'm not sure if you can add to them or not, right? So let's say we had three topics and they were kind of separate. You didn't want to get them mixed up. You could actually use the plugin to have three pages one with all the Ken McCarthy blabs on impact, one and all the Ken McCarthy blabs on masterminding, or one and all, all on internet marketing, or something like that, right? So you could actually divvy it up. And then if you wanted to, you could you could go at Joel Com and have all Joel's and all of yours. So all the ones he's, I mean, it just, it, it becomes a little bit mind boggling what you could do with the, with the plugin. I just wanted it to be someplace where I could do my blabs and I could say, don't go to blab. Like, how are you going to find them? Right. I don't know, but you can go to my site and there's a blab tab and click on that. And there they all are. Right. So, right. so, yeah, so, so, so can that. anyone, can anyone then grab their own blab extension? So uh -huh. Anyone who wants to protect their brand should do that right now. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So you have to show me how to do that later. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy can definitely help you out with so that. Scott, did, did the, you the, put... the plugin is called Lab plugin, but it's not like out anywhere. I have to put it up on my site and I and I have a I have to figure out how to be able to give you instruction instructions because when I give you instructions on what the short code is, it actually puts my blab in there. So I guess I'm going to take an image or I've seen WordPress blogs with short codes in it to explain it. And I don't understand how they were able to do it. And I wasn't. So I have to kind of figure that technical aspect out. But if you, uh, but you can get, but you can get on casters or uh, on, you know, uh, on Facebook or Scott at patentmail.com. But you can uh, get a lab it. extension directly from Blab today. Like I could go get John McCart Blab. Yes. Lab. I am slash John MacArthur. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's still available. Right. Or, or, um, I mean, I would definitely, you know, get that. But then the problem becomes if, if you, once you have that lab. I am dash John MacArthur, yep. um, that's going to show you all your channels, everything that you've had, you know, past and present. And, it's easy. It's good to get to send your traffic to that. I find that having an additional location in the search engine results is it, when people look for you and they add the word blab that they would find this unique landing page right. as well. So having more, you know, things in the game is a better yeah. of people finding you because blab is kind of their search right now is hard and and if people don't find you there they might not find you so why not create a splash page that you know has all of these on them great thanks and we put in a uh we built blab mini sites as part of our thing and we've been developing because blab changed their embed code they've actually locked out um the normal embed code with some j jquery to block us from seeing what would normally come up in an iframed window, which would be everything that's on the screen. So they, they're kind of blocking us and they're only showing us the most recent in that iframe. So we've created a system that we have a spreadsheet up in the cloud. And when somebody schedules one and they get that custom URL from Blab, you put it in the sheet and it feeds the page automatically. 
ago. Now past and present. Fantastic, that's great information. So there are lots of cutting edge uh, opportunities I think coming up for Lab and, and, um, and for people, I mean, we've got 45 viewers on here, 12 on here right now that are, um, you know, just just from uh, putting out a little bit of word to let no, uh, people know that we're here. Uh, so it's another source of audience for you. If you're looking to build your audience, um, all of these um, uh, relationships are being expanded. So tell us a little bit about that, Tracy. Well, I think that the, the power of, of being on a Blab and connecting with people through social media because of the blab you are connecting my my twitter audience has doubled since i've been on blab and it's amazing to see i kind of stayed at one level for a really long time and then every time i am a guest on a blab i end up with people that follow me so between developing a a blab audience which is separate and, and a twitter audience i think that the potential to really humanly connect afterwards is really great. I have made a few connections on Blab and then picked up the phone and talked with them, which is, I think, the idea. Yeah, absolutely. Scott, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your experience with Blab. Well, it's been predominantly great. Uh, what's been amazing to me is the, the people that end up coming to the Blab and either participating in the Blab or commenting on the side or just like being there. And the, f the first couple, t you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not great with names. So it's, not, I'm not really good with, with uh, at names either. And I was on this one <laughs> lab and th so somebody asked to join and they joined and it turns out they were a bit of a blabaholic. So they knew a lot of people. So all of a sudden their followers started jumping on and, and then, of course, he's got half. I never think of this, right? He's got half his eye on the list. And he goes, oh, my God, Bill Rose here. Bill Rose here. Bill, you got to come on. And then Bill comes on. And, and this individual, not Bill, I had no clue what, who he was. Well, he's like does phenomenal business on YouTube. He's in New York. And he has his own like studio with his own engineer and his own video guy and it's like it's this whole never ever just you know, look like a normal guy right like they all do and it was just amazing so all of a sudden i had this insight into youtube from someone that his whole business is YouTube, right so the opportunities for interaction with people that you may or may not ever have an opportunity to interact with is i think is amazing because it's not just friends of friends of friends like facebook it's who's interested in hashtag you know, marketing or hashtag internet or hashtag personal development or whatever, they all kind of see it. And then if somebody jumps on and they hit the tweet thing or the Facebook post thing, all of a sudden you're exposed to an entirely different audience, which uh, to me is really, really exciting because you just never know uh, who you can be. Just like Tracy was saying, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, there will be Thousands and thousands of people five years from now when they're asked, well, how did you meet? Oh, I was just sort of surfing on this. There was this lab and, you know, Ken McCarthy was on it. And I started watching and then I followed him and then we chatted. And the next thing you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there you go. Impact. <laughs> uh, well, it's fantastic to have both of you on my on my very first uh, one. And and you too, John. Uh, you're, you're very, very special to me. Um, I, I do want to mention uh, that uh, coming up at the Impact event, um, I know that at least three of us out of the group will be there. We can always encourage you, Josh, to come on out to Denver. Uh, it's April the 29th through May the 1st in Denver. Yeah. It's going to be a great, great, great time. I would love that. And uh, all of you can uh, can join uh, us. Uh, they're going to be um, amazing people here. I haven't announced all of the speakers yet, but they already include Joel Com, Davin Michaels, Kathleen Gage, Sam Crowley. Uh, speaking of YouTube, Daryl Eves is going to be there. Uh, Stephen Memel is going to be there. Rajesh Sethi is going to be there. 
Jeff Herring, uh, Felicia Slattery, uh, Jeremiah uh, Desmarius is going to be there. So uh, it's just uh, an incredible group of people, and I really encourage you to, um, to get involved in that. And also, if you're looking for any other kinds of help, uh, you can go to KenMacArthur.com forward slash help. I've kind of outlined some of the ways that we work with people, uh, whether it's our top level masterminds or if you want to get involved in the films or you want to come to some of our workshops, any of those kinds of things. Uh, 2016 is going to be the year for higher and higher levels of engagement for me. I want to be able to impact more people in as leveraged uh, a way as I possibly can. We've got some great, great things coming online to be able to do that. So I'm really, really excited about that. I don't know how long you wanted to keep going today. We had a couple of issues there, Scott. Um, but uh, but definitely, I'd like to give uh, people an opportunity to learn how to contact uh, with uh, you, Tracy, and with you, Scott. So, Tracy, you want to tell us the best way to get in contact with you? Um, you can reach me through blabbusters.com, and it would be Tracy at blabbusters.com. And uh, I am always available, and I help companies market their business. And if I could do a little plug for the impact event, I have been going now for about four years, and every single time I go, it is the best experience ever. I have made connections and friends through going to your events, Ken, including meeting you and loving you and loving everyone that I've met. So I totally encourage people to come to Denver. It's a great time. You learn so much and, you know, bring a really big notebook because everyone's going to be speaking and you're going to learn so much. So that's me. Fantastic. And thank you so much for that, Tracy. It's always a treasure when you're there. How about you, Scott? <laughs> well, I, I'm, did we lose her again? Yeah. Well, I think she froze That's up. That's only because bit. I froze. That'll teach her for interrupting you. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to emceeing the event. It's always a lot of fun to, to be up there more than everybody except Ken. Uh, the impact <laughs> factor is going to be a lot of fun. And, and it, there'll be a lot of learning and a lot of networking and, the, and a lot of connections made that can really change your life. That's been the case with me and I'm sure thousands and thousands of other people. So come, make an impact and, uh, and, uh, and meet us. We'd love to meet you. If you want to get a hold of me, I put scott at patentmail.com in there. That's the easiest way. Um, and I'm not sure if you send a message at, at podcasters whether I'll actually see it or not. I see. I think I get spammed at that podcasters. Uh, one of the things that two things that I do is I show people how to podcast, take advantage of the technology, and uh, I have a number of courses on on how to do that. And I've discovered this online video course platform called Udemy, Udemy.com, and uh, I put up 35, 36 courses last year because uh, I just kind of went a little bit nuts. But in the process of I developed a system because you can't do all the work yourself if you want to actually make an impact. And of course, not all the courses are on one <clears throat> one topic podcasting. They're on a variety of things. So if you're interested in getting the word out and you want to have two or three or four hundred thousand students quickly online, uh, it's a great way to do it. So I help people do that. Fantastic. I couldn't help but uh, but uh, let Deb on here because she's she's so amazing. How you doing, Deborah? I'm good, Ken. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Scott. And hey, John, how cool that you're uh, jumping onto the blab wagon. <laughs> I wanted to just I just wanted to like Tracy did come in and give a plug for the impact event because many of the colleagues I have today are people that I met at the event you did, I don't know, was it two or three years ago when I had just come back to Colorado after being gone for 10 years. So for those of you who haven't heard about the impact event or haven't attended one, come to Colorado and join us. That's where I'm calling in from. I'm in Boulder. So um, I highly recommend it just because you make fabulous connections with people that I think will last a lifetime for you. Thanks so much, Deborah. I really, really appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to seeing you for sure. Well, I'm looking, always looking forward to seeing you because then I get my great big bear hug. 
for people who haven't met him, <laughs> he's awesome at hugging. So we, we love those hugs. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's right. All and right. I, so I think um, just so you know, I've been putting in the comment section the URL for the impact event. So if people want yeah, to know. Thank you so much out. for doing that. But great to see you all. Nice meeting you, Scott and John. I hope I'll see you, John, in Denver. And it sounds like I'm going to mm -hmm. be seeing you, Scott, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Happy great. New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Thanks for letting me jump on. Hey, thanks for letting <laughs> thanks, me <sir>. come. <laughs> What? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for letting me be part of it. I appreciate it. Very interesting. All right. Okay. So you you want to wrap us, Scott? <laughs> Let's wrap it up. It's the top of the hour. You've got a mastermind group, I think, that's waiting for you. I appreciate everybody joining us. Ken, last, uh, the last time, what's the URL? Uh, Theimpactevent.com, and you'll see it in your, your chat line there, is, uh, is the you are up for this. Scott and I are going to be doing a bunch of these uh, wonderful blabs, and I promise it will get better and better as we go because uh, we'll get better and better at it. Uh, at least I'll be able to hopefully get on the call. <laughs> and so uh, it's fantastic to have our first one under our belt, and I'm looking forward to all the things that we do in the future together. Scott, you're, yeah. a, you're a wonder. Thank you very much, Ken. Appreciate you a lot, too. And appreciate everybody joining us, and we'll see you next week. We're planning for the same time each week, unless Ken or I are traveling. So uh, 10, 10 30 Eastern uh, Pacific Standard Time on Mondays, if you want to join right. us live and in Technicolor. <laughs> when Blab gets Thanks so much. data, here's the rumor for everybody. It will be 3D, little holograms <laughs> going up on the top of your keyboard. That's how you'll be able to watch us. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. And uh, we're so glad to see everybody. Uh, come join us in uh, Denver, if you can, theimpactevent.com. If you can't be there, go to kenmcarthur.com forward slash help. And let's find a way to connect, uh, whether it's here in Philadelphia area or somewhere else across the country, doing a big event in Las Vegas or a small event in Las Vegas with the Advanced Marketing Minds Group uh, towards the end of the month. Uh, Get involved in something because I want to be part of your life. Uh, together, we can do so much more than we ever could alone. And I'm looking forward to having an impact in your life. Everybody have a great day.